friends, Debbie here with Debbie Gets Crafty, and welcome to another week of Keychain Fun with the Sassy Crafting Sisters. This is a series that we are doing together, my twin sister and I, uh, Judy from Crafting with Judy. And so uh, let's get started. Please hop on over to her channel and uh, watch her videos, like, comment, subscribe and um, please let her know that uh, her twin sister Debbie sent you there and come on let's get started <laughs> and so let's go ahead and get started here so how are you all I hope you're doing well I am great so let's go ahead I'll just do that and we'll start with the, le the number eight Got a couple of little spots. There we go. Let's zoom you on in. So again, I hope you're doing well. I am doing very good. And it is Monday. Listen, you know, we made it through Monday. Or we're making it. Well, hopefully you've made it through Monday. Well, unscathed. You know, it's just that uh, after the weekend, you know, Mondays can be a little tough, but that's okay. We're going to make it together. There we go. And we're done with that. So let's do the number seven because I have it right here. Why not? And it's just a couple of spots around his beak. It's this 310 plain drill. There we go. So, it's actually Sunday that I'm filming this at 5.45 in the morning. <laughs> so, uh, I figure I would make hay while the sun shines. There we go. That's the number three. And let's go ahead and we'll set him up this way. And we'll start down here. Hold on for me, just want to fix my pen. There we go. All right. It's been a very good weekend. It's the, uh, it was the end of the Tour de France, the last leg, the final leg. Today, now at the time of filming, I have not yet seen it. When I'm done filming, I'll go in and have my coffee and sit and enjoy the, the last leg of the race. This is the first year ever in the history of the tour that um, we use. I have a, uh, there we go, let me grab. This is the first year ever since the beginning of the Tour de France that they are finishing the race in a different location than the uh, than in Paris. They're going to finish in Nice, France. So, and then today is also the first time in 35 years that they have... The last leg of the race is a time trial. And it's been an excellent race this this year, an excellent tour. I mean, it's great every year that we watch. There's honestly so much to enjoy. Todd and I, my husband and I, we enjoy the the bike, you know, the the race itself, the cycling. We're not uh, 
we don't follow cycling any other part of the year except for the tour. But we find it interesting. And what we also love about it is you learn so much about uh, places in and around France and Italy and um, around the Swiss Alps, you know, the so many different places that they run the different legs. It's not just all run in France. Like this year, they started in Italy. They started the tour in Italy. And it was really so fascinating. They, while the, the race is on, while you're watching each leg, the commentators, they cut to different you know, locations that are close by where the riders are. And like they'll pass a castle or they'll pass an old church and they'll talk about, you know, or they'll pass through an old village and they'll talk about that location and give you a little history lesson. And it's just, it's fascinating. We love it. I mean, it, it's just so beautiful. The areas that they, um, these legs are raced. It's a great, uh, it's a great time in three weeks worth. We, we had the pleasure of watching for three weeks and it's just really neat. We look forward to it every year. And now we have one week to go. This, at the end of this week, we'll start with the, uh, it'll be the beginning of the Olympics, the Summer Olympics. So we're looking forward to that. And I know I've said, you know, made mention of it before with the Olympics and stuff, but um, Winter Olympics are our, are our favorite. Uh, we like we love the the summer olympics but the winter olympics are our favorite we we well we're winter people anyway so but we're looking forward to the summer olympics as well i know there's uh, several people out there that commented you know i don't follow the olympics but Todd and I, we follow it religiously. I'm going to flip this little guy upside down and I'm going to put... Actually, let me see if I flip him upside down this way. There we go. Sorry, little fella, made you a little motion sick. So it's really neat with the Olympics. Uh, and like I said, Todd and I really enjoy, you know, the Tour de France. We like the Olympics. Pretty soon, uh, football, NFL will be starting. So we're excited about that, too. Go Bills! We're a Buffalo Bills fan. <laughs> this is definitely a Buffalo Bills house. For sure. So, the sun is coming up. It's a beautiful morning. If you watched my video on Sunday, my weekend sticker fun, I explained that I will be putting a pause to the evening videos that I normally do. They weren't really helping my channel any. They weren't hurting it, but they weren't helping it either. And so I made the decision on during the week that I had taken off, which, by the way, 
thanks so much for your support and uh, love <laughs> and kind words while I had taken that week off. Honestly, friends, it was nothing other than I just let the weekend get away from me. I didn't... I didn't... Uh, manage my time and so I figured you know what instead of trying to hurry up and rush through making videos just to have you know a video up that could have been something that I wasn't you know very happy with I'm gonna go ahead and just why are they it is sticky I'm gonna go ahead okay Go ahead and just cancel the week, take the week off. There we go. And just regroup. And I'm glad that I did because I did a lot of soul searching. You know, thought about my channel and what I want to do. You know, to try, I'm trying really hard to grow my numbers. And, uh, you know, following what I've seen, heard, read about, you know, folks growing their channels. They, you know, they were saying, I heard that a lot of folks were saying, you know, get, get content out there. That's what people want. They want the content. Do at least one to two videos a day. So I said, well, one is good, two is better. And I was, you know, working really, really super hard to get out two videos a day. And that's, you know, at least 12 videos a week. Because if you think Monday through Friday, that's 10. And then my weekend sticker fun was two more. So roughly an average of 12 videos a week I was filming on the weekend. Because, friends, I have a full-time job. They, my hours change sometimes. So, you know, I've got to be flexible with my job. And so taping during the week was really impossible for me to do. So it was the weekend. You know, filming over the weekend is the only option. Which I don't mind. You know, Todd... I, I take a couple, you know, a few hours out, an hour, two hours on a Saturday, an hour or two hours on a Sunday, and, you know, get the videos all filmed and set up. Todd doesn't mind. Todd's very supportive of it. But last weekend taught me that, you know, I just let time get away from me because I was doing other things. And there you have it. Just thinking more and more about my channel and observing. I've been really closely observing my my channel. I know a lot of folks put videos out and do their channel and they don't, you know, okay, I have who I have and that's awesome and if it grows, it grows. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Well, I want to try to make this, you know, a side hustle. A side, you know, gig. And I recently became monetized. And so I want to grow my channel more. Because, you know, with certain milestones that you hit, you're able to make more money. And why not? So, make a little extra mad money to support my channel. And this way, you know, whatever money that I make from my channel, I can use for my channel to get supplies and equipment. And also, you know, purchase crafts and stuff that I can work on.
But if doing extra videos isn't bringing extra people, it doesn't make any sense. Not only that, I had some folks comment, oh good, I'll be able to catch up, which made me think, you know what, maybe it was too much. Uh, you know, if, if, if I'm leaving folks with the feeling that they have to catch up and my numbers aren't going up, well, then it's time I'm just going to put a pin in making two videos a day and just make my daily whip and chat videos. I will do the occasional unboxing of Timu or unbagging of Timu orders or Amazon or wherever we order from. I'll do the occasional PR package if I'm offered a PR package. We're still going to do Todd's videos. He loves to do his shopping haul videos. He just had one on Friday last week. If you haven't seen it, I strongly recommend it. He was so dang proud. And so was I. And he really enjoys it. I love it. We love watching haul videos. It doesn't have to be a craft haul. It could be like grocery shopping. I don't know what it is. I'm just fascinated by it. And uh, so... And he enjoys doing it. So... There we go. So that's the decision that I made while I was off. I'm getting some more responsibilities at work. So I have to, you know, focus on that as well. There we go. And I hope you understand and I appreciate, you know, the support that I've gotten and the lovely comments from folks with kind and supportive messages. That means the world to me. All right, friends, so we're going to pull you on back. There we go. He came out beautiful. They're all he because the card, the red cardinal is the male cardinal. Female cardinals are more of a tan color. So these, uh, these are all gentlemen here. All right, so that's Monday. I want to thank you so much for stopping by and listening to me ramble on. Please head on over to Judy's channel, Crafting with Judy. Uh, like, comment, subscribe on her video. Please do me a favor and like, comment, and subscribe this video. Share with your friends and family. And I can't wait to see you again for another installment of uh, Keychain Fun with the Sassy Crafting Sisters. Until I see you again, please take care and uh, let me know how you're doing and what you're up to. And happy crafting. God bless and take care. Goodbye now.